Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Always trust your gut. Rant. Posted this over at r slash dead bedrooms about a month ago. And spoiler alert. She moved in with the mark in this story and is now publicly dating or whatever you want to call it a month after the split. Divorce filing and all that is in process. Always always trust your gut. In my case it was spot on. I have been lurking here on this subreddit for the past year, reading and learning and trying to make some sense of my marriage. And now that things are ending I figured I'd tell my story. Writing this out to complete strangers on the internet might make me feel better. I'm 36 HLM she is a 34 LLF, in hindsight she is really LLFU, but there is also a medical aspect to it. Anyhow married 3 years together for 5, both on our second marriage, no kids together but we each have our own kids from prior marriage. Like many here things were pretty good up until covid hit and jobs and life in general got a lot more stressful. To help manage that stress and anxiety she was prescribed an SSRI which was slowly ramped up starting at the beginning of the pandemic. Sex was fine up until the point, we were at least every other week, sometimes more and all was ok until the full dose of the med was achieved and it started falling in frequency during the spring and early summer of 2020. Reading here I of course found out it wasn't her fault with the meds, I researched the medication and we discussed our sex life together and we both noticed it wasn't what we liked. She consults the doc who keeps her on the medication and dose, with the advice of either skipping a dose the day before to up the libido or that I should romance her more whatever that means. Ok I do that already but sure doc he'll try harder. Then came last summer, and her friend's party that she went to alone because I was working. Well at the party she meets a guy, we will call him Mark for this story. Sorry innocent Marks. Anyway she makes a new friend in Mark and that's cool. I have no issues with my wife having male friends, she has numerous male friends already, and I have numerous female friends so all is fine with that. Except it is not fine, the sex is still dropping in frequency as the months go on and we end up into fall. Sex frequency dropping to once a month if I'm lucky she accepts my initiation. I keep trying to romance her, buying her flowers, candy, presents, being the best husband I think I can. I try to initiate all the time, sending her flirty texts, doing nice things for her hoping it will work. While that is going on she is either too busy on social media, or talking on the phone with Mark, who I've noticed is starting to call her every night to talk about whatever they both did that day or a mutual friends drama. That was the first red flag. Second red flag was waved on our anniversary. I spent the day with her and took her out to dinner and the whole nine yards. It was a good day up until we were on the way home that night and Mark called to talk. Again on our anniversary. I didn't say anything at the moment, she kept on talking while I took a shower, she had been excited and promised we would get some anniversary sex in. I get out of the shower and come into the bedroom and she's still on the phone with Mark. By that point I say come on. Get off the phone please. And she tells Mark she has to go and take care of me because it's our anniversary night, in a joking manner but it still left a bad taste in my mouth. Towards the end of the year she's still talking to Mark and we finally have our first big fight about all of it. And we have the talk for the first time. I tell her that it is making me uncomfortable and insecure with him calling every day while we still were having sex issues that haven't improved, I feel unattractive, insecure, and hurt and that we need to work on things and she needs to put up some boundaries with Mark. After that fight she cools it down with Mark and starts actively working to at least find a happy medium in our sex life that we can both live with. Ok awesome, I can accept that as long as she seems to be putting in the same amount of effort into our marriage as I am. We have a good first quarter of this year and I think we are out of the woods. I even invite Mark over for a party and attempt to be friendly for my wife's sake. Then May comes, and she gives up. Abruptly changes jobs to one that she is gone most weekend nights. 
and it seems she just stopped caring and started calling Mark again, now more than once a day. Sex is non-existent again. Q second big fight and second talk about it. Except this time she tells me sex isn't important to me and sex isn't important in a marriage which of course I reply it is important to me. And try to reason with her about the entire thing, telling her how I feel. If my spouse thinks something is important to her it automatically should be important to me. Reasoning stage never works. June comes, and we aren't talking much. We take a pre-planned trip and things seem to be looking up, except for Mark, who is still calling and texting all day. She goes down to visit her friend and of course spends time with Mark. I am absolutely miserable to be around at this point, I'm fuming, upset, depressed, all of the above. Then fight number 3 happens, except this time she is accusing me of cheating on her, demanding to go through my phone and that I'm hiding something I'm not telling her. I finally blurt it out that I'm not happy with our marriage and am having a lot of doubts of it continuing, which of course hurts her, but it's the truth at that point, with two months of no sex and Mark constantly in the picture I've had about enough. We continue on until the end of June, when I just can't get over the gut feeling I have. So I start snooping, and I pull up the phone bill. It turns out she has been calling Mark every single morning, lunch break, or on the ride home and then later at night either before I get home from work or after I'm asleep. On top of thousands and thousands of texts. Great. So then that night I pretend to go to sleep and crack a bedroom window open so I can hear her convo with Mark that night as she sits on the porch. She had told me that she was going down to a friend's house for other reasons but her conversation with Mark is completely about what plans they have together that day, so she's straight up lying to me by this point about spending time with Mark. I finally confronted her on this, both the mountain of phone records and her plans with Mark I overheard. She actually messed up and texted he was listening to me to me instead of Mark. Whoops. During this conversation I tell her that I know what is going on, that she is having an emotional affair at best with Mark. Maybe I have no idea. And that she has to make a choice, either cut it off with Mark and save our marriage or we need a divorce. She denies everything of course just friends and all that, blames me for cheating again for whatever reason. The next day she packs up and goes down to spend the day with Mark and tells me that much with plans to see him a lot more frequently now. I tell her she's made her choice and we are starting the process. I feel like a weight lifted off of me. Long story short, people change and it sucks, trust your gut when something doesn't feel right. And keep on keeping on. Sorry to hear it man. I've been in a similar situation myself. Nothing really makes it all right. The one thing you can at least rest on is that you stood up for yourself. At times it won't mean much but in the long run hopefully it means everything. She is now Mark's problem until she gets bored of him, or him of her. File for divorce and get it done as quick as you can whilst she is still in a fair fog land. And the ghost her from your life for all eternity, and beyond. I can confirm, my gut also led me to the truth about my wife's affair. I knew something was off. Her vibe towards me was wrong. Her behavior changed, she started being gone from the house more often. She was just treating me weird and I knew she was cheating with her co-worker. Sure enough, I was right. And it sucks but once you know, you feel good that you can trust yourself to figure things out. Really, you are a type with character, without beginning or dancing the dance choose me. I bet you, that in a while, the illusion will run out. Hee <laughs> hee. Typical in cheating women. Very similar situation, however instead of a mark in my story it was a witch or a mic I don't know exactly. I just know there was someone. So another strike for her. Sorry to hear how she mistreated you. Glad you are getting out. What was going on with the kids she brought into the marriage? Was the kids being neglected with all her energy on mark? Were you the one stuck with the babysitting duties while she went off cake eating? Since she has kids I suspect Mark will ditch her when it gets real. What man wants a woman with kids and two divorces on her record? She is probably loads of fun when you are watching them. 
be ready for her to come back weeping to reconcile. Mark is probably using her for a pump and dump. Yea my thoughts exactly too. Although she's not normally the kind of person who admits to her faults and mistakes. No, the actual worst part of it was that she had her kid, older teen, in on the whole lie it seems before I even knew. So did her kid go over to Mark? Man, her kid doing a cover up for her. Must not be the first time. What was the gap in time between the end of her first marriage and when she met you? Yep she's living at his house too. It's a pretty shitty situation all around there. And pretty long, about 7 years or so. A very unpopular doctor of psychology likes to say never ignore small signs of coming betrayal. My grandma used to say, sometimes the screwing you get isn't worth the screwing they give. The he was listening to me message made my stomach turn. It was like the strike to the gut to say she has zero intentions to stop seeing Mark, thus the marriage is over. You did everything you could, and I'm glad you went out on a high note. You communicated, you fought for your marriage, flowers, dinners, trips, yet she was ungrateful, and took it all in stride. No disrespect to you and the history you have with your now ex-wife, but Mark is getting no spring chicken, here. She has somebody who has completely no disregard for anyone else's relationships, and he has somebody that will cheat on him as soon as the next guy whisks her off her feet, not the bedrock you want to be building your relationship on. Meanwhile, I know you're hurt, but eventually you'll see the rays of sunshine on the other side and will be able to laugh about when you did everything for your ungrateful ex-wife and got nothing in return. Use this energy to focus on the divorce proceedings, getting all your documents in order, and focusing on your mental, as well as, physical well-being. This chapter of your life is coming to a close. However, there's more life to live. You'll come out on the other side stronger and more aware of your preferences. Best of luck to you. Yay when I got that message I immediately replied lol wrong dude dear, smiley face, it was like come on now I'm not stupid I know what's happening drop the charade. She has yet to admit wrongdoing. Still tells me he's not your replacement while she lives in his house and goes on dates with him posting it all over social media. Hence why I cut her out entirely on that aspect. As have all my loyal friends and family. If anything this experience has taught me that she is an extremely selfish and disrespectful person. I was trying to hold the marriage together for a long time by myself. I'm already seeing the sunshine. Renovating my house at the moment. And more than one female friend in my life has already expressed some interest in me even after knowing the entire story. After almost a year of zero interest from the STBXW attention like that is awesome. Definitely not looking for anything serious though. I have to keep reminding myself to trust my feelings. No matter what issues I had, and what I was dealing with, I wouldn't have lied and hid my feelings for someone else like my ex did. I'm sorry you went through what you explained here. My ex is still with the person she's starting getting involved with, and still doesn't take any responsibility. It still sucks, but it does get better over time. Keep fighting for yourself. Is she living with Mark? Is the divorce final? Has she tried to fix things or did she care? Her what kind of relationship does she want to have with you now? Friends? Good luck with all of this and I hope you can find someone who loves and values you. And that Mark only took an unfaithful wife who does not like sex, it is very likely that she will leave her or end up the same or worse than you. You are not to blame for anything you tried everything but she still decided the worst option. I recommend Total North Carolina. Yes she's living with him. No it's not final, we just started that process however we don't really have anything to split or children. She hasn't cared, it's been pretty non-contact since which is nice. Oddly enough it hasn't really affected me either emotionally, it was more of a relief it was over when it finally happened. I've cut her off on all social media and all that so no contact is pretty much my best plan and let the attorneys do the talking. And yea that's always been my attitude. If he wants her, he can have her. I value myself much higher.
We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.